Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny. Happy Saturday to you. Today I'm going to be taking you to four of my Dollar Trees. The first one's going to be located on Lima Road, the second in Leo Crossing, the third on Thomas Road, and the fourth on Stellhorn Road, all here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And again, I am speechless on so many items I was able to find. It's just, it blows my mind on what the Dollar Tree has been carrying for only a dollar. So I hope you all enjoy these four long trips and I will see you at the Dollar Tree. All right, right when I walk in, look at the, the display of these fantastic baskets. Now they had these a few months ago, but this size right here is new. They have it in gray, cream, white, green, blue, and I think those are all the colors, but so many sizes to choose from this time around. Now make sure with these smaller ones like these right here, you should be getting two for a dollar. So make sure they are um, hooked together. And look at these gnomes. Oh, so cute. Adorable. There's four different ones. They have some new washi tape, deco tape, however you want to say it. Now these are usually always hanging on the plastic strips. Be sure you check those down every single aisle and every checkout lane because you never know what you might find. A lot of cute ones. They also have a nice display of all of their yarn, which usually get about, about 120 yards for the most part. Look at this jointed cutout birthday cake, 29 by 22 inch. They had a couple of different colors. So that one had like pink frosting on the top. Then there is a white one and chocolate. And as always, they always have a nice selection of their puzzles. Now, they usually range between 24 pieces to 500 pieces. They also have some hero capes, ages three and up. They have them in blue, black, and red. What is this? Beads design, glow in the dark. Huh, it's a butterfly. Oh my gosh, I remember making these all the time in the summer when I was little. Ages six and up. They're keychains, by the way. Oh, this looks like an easy way to make your friendship bracelets. Let's bring back the 80s, people. Here's some new squirt guns. They had them in red, green, and blue. Seemed like they would work. And I have no idea what these things do. It just says a glider. The little wing things were plastic, so I don't know how well that will hold up. But let me know if you know what these things do. They kind of look like a stingray or something. Kind of mushy. I don't know. Don't worry, I hang them back up. For those JoJo fans, here they have a bow pen of JoJo. Jojo. Ooh, scented pens. Ugh, I'm all about scented stuff. Especially uh, scratch, on, scratch and sniff stickers are my favorite. I could never find any of those anymore. Do they exist anymore? Let me know. Look at these pencils. Name brand. You get eight of them for the wild side. Oh, and they have the little mushy pencils too. Smushy mushies, something like that. Whoa, 
This pad of paper can mess with your eyeballs. Very interesting. Shimmer. They're nice, too. So I'm going to show you all the colors they had. They had the silver, and this is like a pink, purplish color. And that's the silver one that I showed you. Then they have this black one. And a rose gold. That is so funky. And the blue. Look at this. It is a dry erase weekly planner by Ja. Ja, you rock. And then they have these jumbo pencils. You get two of them, name brand. My daughter loves this brand of pencil. Well, it looks like they have those diffusers again. I don't know if those are new or different. I'm not quite sure. Let me know down below. So yeah, they have a lot of a lot of goodies over here. A lot of glassware. <gasps> what is this? Scented notebooks? You get three of them? Ooh. I need to check those out. Here's some sticky notes. Looks like they should have been like with the Mother's Day stuff, but don't know. But I'm going to show you all the different ones they had. Ooh, I like that one. That one's cute. Kind of small, but cute. So I believe, yeah, those are all the ones they had. So they had four. They have some new magnets. Fresh sarcasm served daily. Oh, I love it. And that one too. So funny. I used to cook every day of the week except Tuesdays. Well, not anymore. Pretty much retired from cooking. Unless it's spaghetti. Or macaroni and cheese. Ooh, look at this folder. That's a little funky delic. Ooh, that one's cute too. You can cut those up and use them in a background in a frame or something. That would be cool. They have these pencil pouches. Again, this is a name brand and they're about four to five dollars at like Staples. So they have two different colors. And oh, that's a jot one. Over here in their books, they really didn't have too many new ones, so I'm not spending much time over here. This book was being very stubborn. Couldn't open it. Kept sliding around. <laughs> uh, patience. Do they have a book on patience? Dear sister, George Foreman. Gosh, I remember when those were so famous. I remember having one of those when I first moved out in 1996, 95. I think I moved out in 95. <laughs> Can't even remember. So long ago. Nothing like living on Hamburger Helper. See, this book seems really nice. $35. Nice cookbook. I can't believe how many cookbooks they carry. I guess people just go on the internet and Google what they want to make, I guess. Ooh, this is a ginormous cookbook. Holy cow. Size of a dictionary. That's cool. Lots of recipes and stories to go with it. Hmm, yeah, no, it's not noticing very much. Hmm. Here they have some new uh, magnetic bookmarks. You get six of them. I usually buy these and send them to my mother-in-law so she can mark in her books that she reads and her Bible every day. 
And there they are. Here's some treats. Baxter Boy, all natural. High protein. 100% beef. Yeah, they're really hard. My dogs would choke on it. Here's a square wreath. Interesting. What size are you? 16 inch. Stepping back, showing you all their glass stuff. Oh, they have lemons. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? I've been, oh, that's that, is that raffia or something? What? This looks really nice. I think you get one ounce, I think it was. So they have this light green one, this darker green blue color, the natural one, which you get double the amount and that one. And then this is more of your burnt orange. Ooh, I like this color. It's like a peachy rose color. I like my names, colors. That's more of your red. Wow, this was really nice quality. Very impressed. I don't know how much it retails for though. Here's some fashion nails by Sassy and Chic. Palm trees. A couple of my kids and mom are in Siesta Key. They just arrived. Some of their makeup blenders. Oh, name brand nail polish. Gel nail polish, that is. I think it's Sally Henson or something. Here's a new Minecraft cup. <gasps> Ooh, look how nice this is. This is like a beverage bucket. It's seven and a half inches tall and 11 inches long and it has handles. Look how fancy that is. Over there by the wedding stuff, always for sure you check that section because they have been killing it over there. Oh, they have the long baskets too. You get a two pack. They had them in white and black. I think they're about uh, 11 inches. Long. Here's some new hot pads. You get two of them. They had a few different ones. Grilling and chilling. Cold drinks, good eats, and barbecue. And then their neighbors right over here are the matching oven mitts. I prefer the hot pads. I really can't grip anything with these big old things on my hands. Uh, these are new. Now, if you don't like the design or anything, you can always rip it apart and do something else. And there's the pineapple one back there. Seems like that was the most popular one. And then they had the bee one, too. Here's some new hand sanitizer. Yeah, these up by the register. And they had this one. Pomegranate and vanilla. Moving on to our next Dollar Tree. Here they have these ice cube trays. They are BPA free. So they feel like silicone in a way on the bottom. And they had it in two different shapes and they had multiple colors to choose from. These are cute. Little tin things you can put in your yard or your flower pots, or you can rip the stem thing off and frame it or do something else with it. Put it in a wreath, a spinner wand. Hmm. Let me try this out. So that is what that looks like. Remember going to the ice capades back in the 80s and you could buy something like that and they're like $50? Solar steak lights. They had it in silver and black. Looks like a microphone or a magic wand or something. These plates are cute. Can't remember if I showed these earlier in the week or not. You get 14 per pack. They're 6.75 inch. There's the other iridescent colored ones. You get 12 in there. And they have some new tissue paper. You get eight sheets per pack. Oh, look at the plaid one in that. That's cute. Great for Father's Day. If you plan on using any tissue paper for anything. 
These are new bowls. Pretty good size, too. Serving bowl. And I'm just going to give you a quick idea on what you can do with those. You can always spray paint them and do this. Glue them together and make yourself a flower pot or a big uh, a centerpiece. Oh my gosh, look at this candy jar. This is ginormous. There's a little wipe off pocket folder thingy maduber. That candy thing that I just showed you was seven inches tall and six inches wide. Hey, there's a dry erase board by Jai, and it does come with the marker and a couple of teeny tiny magnets on the back. Here's a bunch of their just yarn. Pretty colors. Again, I do believe you get, oh, you get 131 yards. Here's some new notebook sets. You get a two pack. There's the size right there. Rainbows are cute. Oh, this is cute too. I don't need any more paper. I don't need any more paper. And hello, Summer. We're getting there. Ooh, these are really neat. These are like, I think, four inches? Can't remember, but I think they're four inches. But they have them in three different colors. Very well made. Make sure there's no chips or nicks out of it. First, I thought that was like a pimple on its forehead. But all of them had it. Oh, and they have the wooden drawers. All three sizes. Those are really nice. These are new. These are 12 inches by 5. This one says hello. Hello. Is anyone out there? And this was already falling apart. So you can just take that off. Use that for something. And use the hello for something else. Don't worry. I get this one. I meant like I bought that one. There's family and gather. You can put some tea lights behind there like the little fairy lights and light it up that would be cute they had a bunch of those frames up there those chalkboards here's some of their little banks these are made very nice and i absolutely love the back of these other than the other plastic ones that they always have these are so much easier to take apart see and you can do your own thing with them you can wipe that stuff off and start from scratch they have these back in stock. They had two different sizes by Floral Garden. There's those diffuser things. Are these the same ones they had around Christmas time? I can't remember. Let me know. I know it took batteries. I think it was AA batteries. AAA, two AAA batteries. Hmm. Oh, these are new candles. Would you call them candles? Avocado, a Norwal, a taco, and a rainbow. We had some other scented candles, and I took a whiff of it, and no. It's called Island Escape. Mm-mm. That's what an island smells like. I will not be going to one. And they had, I don't know, they had like four or five different ones. This is more of your vanilla one. Which really can't go wrong with that. These are three ounces. And let's see. Oh, these are new. Again, three ounces. Dark Moon. They kind of smell different. They had four. Four different ones, so I'm going to show you all four. These are soy blend scented candles. I can't remember what one smelled real icky. I can't remember. Maybe it was the butterfly one. No, I think it was that picture of that lady's face. I think that one was icky. Look at here. These are some foam dice, ages three and up. You get four of them. I bet you can do some really cute DIYs with those. Nice. 
Look at these pet balls. How cute. These are made really nice too. They do have some rubber grips on the bottom, but they really don't work. They have them in four different colors. These will be great for puppies or guinea pigs, rabbits, for whatever, or have your lizard take a bath in it. They have some new ones of these little treat containers. They are fairly small, but I like the lids and I think they feed its purpose on what you're gonna use it for. So I'm gonna show you all the different ones that they have. Sorry, they're kind of hard to read because they're see-through. And this teal one. Blue one, only have this dark blue one over here. Now I'm gonna line them all up for you and give you a better look. So these are all the different colors and sayings and pictures that they have on them. Again, the lids are really nice. I'm not sure if this is a new wall sticker, but thought I would show you just in case. Here's some baby powder. Aloe vera, vitamin E, absorb, absorbs moisture. Power stick, pure sulfate shampoo, 6.5 ounce in the conditioner. Pure silk shave cream, have they always had this? Ultra sensitive, these are five ounce cans. So they have the sensitive one, the raspberry mist, and coconut and oat. But this is my favorite shave gel of all time. This stuff is amazing and you get seven ounces. Lots of flip flops. Here's some popsicle ones. Look at the watermelon ones, those are cute. And lemons, they carry flip-flops and sandals for the entire family. And now they're carrying slides too. As in like slide, sandal, flip-flop thingies. Okay, there's a bunch of those candy containers. I cannot get over how huge these are, you guys. See, they had them in a box. Look at this, you get a three pack of makeup wipes. Nice. So you get 90 wipes for $1. Okay, where's my Aquanet girls? Come on. I know you're out there. Aquanet, 1980s. Solar stake lights. These are cute. The sunflowers. Looks like an eyeball from Pixar that hops around or whatever that thing is. I had a couple of these really cute iridescent bottles, but I don't think these are new. I know they had another color, but I thought I would show you anyway. I think the little toppers are cute. Put one little lonely flower in there. Moving on to our next Dollar Tree. They had these last year, I do believe. These are like candle holders or whatever you want to use them for. They had them in silver and blue, and I know they've carried red in the past. Look at these dog bowls. These things are ginormous. My dog could take a bath in these things. Loving the colors. They have the pink, gray. They are fairly flimsy. And this beautiful blue. Okay, moving on to our next Dollar Tree. Look at this wind spiral thingy maduber. Oh, and this one has a Frenchie. So cute. Look at this windsock, land of the free, three gnomes, absolutely adorable. That one had popsicles and look at the flags. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that camper one. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this crown jewel kids. Well, those are cool. I didn't go through all of them. Here's some new baskets. They had them in the gray and the beautiful peach. And they have handles on the side. I think I forgot to show you that, but they have handles. These are new. Little blind bags. 
I did check it over to make sure there was no cheat codes. There isn't any, so I can't help you out on these, but there are multiple ones to collect, ages three and up. Oh, look at these, you guys. These are new, beautiful colors. The glass gems, and they are 14 ounces. Look how cute those colors are. Oh, those are gonna go quick. Look at these, you guys. What? Sola flower? Am I saying that right? They have little twisty ties. So they have a pack of five little ones, or they have these two big ones. Those are really neat. I bet you can color them or dye them. Hey, if you're in the market for some lemons and limes, well, here you go. Okay, I think they needed to add a couple more flowers to this. This is like a Charlie Brown flower pot. Don't ask me why I'm showing you this brush, because I'm sure they've had it for like 20 years. Don't know. They had some adorable headbands. Now, if you're not in the market for any headbands, you got to think outside the box. You can clip those bows off and use them on other things. DIYs, presents. Do your own thing with them. But these are just absolutely beautiful and soft. Their babies are us, I think, carried these so cute and oh my gosh they have an entire end cap dedicated <laughs> to all of these basket container thingy me doobers this one is the thomas road dollar tree i only had a tigger one of these docks first time i've seen the tigger one i showed you all the others earlier in the week they have some of these these are new these are square bowls. They had them in gray, blue, and clear. Or I should say white. Here's some more new items from Crown Jewel. They have the notepads. You get five sheets of these stickers. And then they had this notepad. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast. I'm in the checkout lane. And then they have the longer list pad, as they call it. Beautiful colors. And then they have, it's called a journal. It says free spirit. And they have this spiral notebook up there. All right, moving on to our last Dollar Tree. They have these little sticky notes with a matching pen. Again, these are hanging on the plastic strips over there by the stationery. Cute colors. Here's some new notepads. I love that they come with these bands and I love the flowers. You get 60 sheets. They are a five by seven. They had four different ones and they are lined. Jenny, you do not need any more paper. No more paper. Here's some more new pencils. These are really nice. Why didn't we have fancy pencils like that? Here's some scented lip gloss. Lots of these LED headlamp head thingies. Okay, well, that's the end of our $4 tree trips. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies too. Jot down onto your wish list. If you want, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find at one of your local Dollar Trees. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload a video, then be sure you click on to that little bell. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link that down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Saturday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. <laughs>